Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm Captain Krautzer. Today, I will present you the Tier 4 German battleship, Moltke. Moltke is a new German battleship found in the Battlecruiser Tectory that's upcoming in 0.10.9. She is heavily armored for the, for the tier. And she has a HP of 40,800 and a torpedo damage reduction of 16%. Isn't good, but isn't worst. As for the guns, she has 10 283mm guns found in 5 turrets. The reload is 30 seconds and, a, and a, with a 180 degree turn time of 45 seconds. Her accuracy is slightly special. The she uses the dispersion formula from her battle cruisers, but <coughs> her, dis her sigma is 1.5. But uh, in my opinion, uh, with my own experience, her accuracy isn't bad. The dispersion is just good enough that the sigma doesn't really bother you all the time. But the problem is the gun performance is really lackluster with uh, not having Nassau guns, it's really not a good gun performance. Not on AP, not the HE. The accuracy is the only thing that is saving. As for the secondaries, she has 8, 88mm and 12 single mount 150mm guns. The accuracy of the guns are standard. Uh, the accuracy that we get, like the message that say accuracy, starts with the tier 6. As for the AA, she has no AA. 88mm <laughs> uh, gun, there's some 7.6mm like, guns. It really doesn't mean much. As for the upgrades, um, I have very standard upgrade setup. Main battery and survivability. As for the commander, it's a really experimental build. With using the brisk. Oh, let's talk about the, the consumer as well. She has godlike consumer of 9.5. This is really good among all the tier fives, a uh, tier fours. I'm sorry. Well, I will talk about it more in the match. Um, so let's continue. Welcome back again, and I think in the video I can talk even more about the stats of the ship. Main things about this ship isn't her armor, her guns, it is her speed and the concealment. She has 9.5 km concealment, and with the brisk, she has speed of 33 knots. This is the highest speed of this tier for a battleship. Uh, Moltke so the Moltke in this way is a very special ship, um, but she has some downsides, and it is for being tier 4. The tier 4 matchmaking is crap. Uh, like double CV matches all day, it, it is really terrible. And this is one of the rare matches that I actually got, where there's just some bots, it's also a classic thing in a random battle tier 4 um, but it isn't really big of a deal it's better than the double CV matches so the guns uh, let me talk even more about the guns the guns on Moltke is not good. Um, I don't like the guns on, on Moltke. They are just so slow reloading and so little and does so little 
that the guns are really not high on the ship, like, you know, the high point of the ship. The second is also isn't high point as well. Like, the line really starts with really slow. And I hope it actually gets better, I wanna say. Um, it's my hoping right now. The dispersion formula really gives me hope that the line will be decent, but they can... They just constantly do it in them. Anyway, I was actually talking about the Commander build. Um, okay, for the Commander build, I'm using Consumer and the Brisk. And the Brisk, I'm gonna change it for the Vigilance. Or, the Vigilance is going to be my main build. Because when we look at it, the brisk is really useless. And on these ships that gonna want to just fire fire and you know be an annoyance to enemy with you know their guns, their secondaries, their torpedoes, and their armor, that's at least how I play them. The brisk is really not going to be useful. Instead the vigilance might end up being better, uh, because you know the tier 10 is actually large with being 270 meters long um, so it has a high chance of actually eating torpedoes and yeah that plus torpedo protection is just it is the reason that I'm gonna get the vigilance um, but risk can be useful as well um, like the tier, tier 8 and tier 9. But the tier 10 just doesn't have the consumer to make use of the risk. Um, so, we talk about guns, we talked about secondaries. The secondaries are just mediocre, the guns are mediocre. AA? Set of garbage. Um, even on the tier 4 standards, you have nothing. Um, and the sad part, the entire line continues with this no AA gimmick. Like, Mackinson doesn't have AA, um, the Darth Linger doesn't have AA, Prince Heinrich has lower AA than the Gnais now. Uh, and then, I, if I'm correct, the tier 8 doesn't even have a mid range aura. So, you really don't have any AA. And tier 10 only has like 30 mm and just 3. Uh, just 3. 5 mm mounts. Now. Um, the AA probably gonna be very bad in the line. And. Yeah. The carrier is just gonna bully them. Like. It's not there. Minimal ability. I talked about it. But. And the consumer. The Molke has really good consumers. 9.5. I think it is the best in tier. And maybe, maybe the, the Italian might be winning. I'm not sure. I didn't check it out. So, don't add at me. Her HP and the armor. That's... Let's actually talk about it now. Um, the armor of the mod gear, despite being Barracuser, very good. Um, very good. Her HP is in a mediocre side with 40k. I think there is like better ships with more HP at this tier. But considering her armor and her consumables, she's good. And let's talk about the consumables as well. Um, I was actually um, really not onto this consumable setup. I was thinking this might be the bad bad choice, but after playing the mold cap, I'm even more excited for the high tier um, German battlecruisers. Mainly that fast cooldown um, damage control. Along with the repair party. The repair party is very standard, but damage control party. Yeah, the Soviet version of it. 
actually works on these ships. Other than that, yeah, there's actually nothing to talk about left. Um, the ship is good. She's fun to play. Basically, the most fun tier four that I I can say that right. She's the most fun tier four battleship. Maybe some people will say um, Nikolai, Nikolai one, which is which was removed and was overpowered. Um, maybe Gangut, some people can say. Maybe even the Dante Alighieri. But with the speed that the Moke has and the armor that she has and the consumer that she has, basically I like the Moke more than any other tier 4. Is she unfair to fight against? No. <laughs> um, I don't think that this ship is overpowered. She doesn't have any gun power, like... If you're saying this is... Overpowered... Um, you never played Russian ships. This ship is nothing close to being an overpowered ship. This thing... Doesn't really have a gun power, like... You can see... It doesn't do much. Um... Uh, and... The reload is just very sluggish. The guns, um, gun placement is really wonky. Um, it's not overpowered. Even that's why people say that it's not overpowered. It is just a uh, very flexible ship. Not not many tier fours are like this. This ship is very flexible. I think that's what we can say about the most. She's very flexible tier 4 battleship. She's more like a high tier battleships. Um, high tier battleships that is very fast is also very flexible. The Molki is the same case as them. Well, let me. I will actually make a news type of video afterwards. Um, I will have to talk about some other things. And the AI really doesn't work on the ship. Um, you can see that enemy CV is basically inside us for the entire match. Like, inside of this timeline now. And no aircraft was almost shut down. Now it is the only single enemy. Match is actually just over. Um, so, if you like the video, please subscribe. Um, and what can I say? Thanks for watching, and you know, thanks for joining in for this video. Um, if you like it, I will try making even more videos like this one. Um, but. Yeah, after this one, I will have to make another video which will cover some news about me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.